Boils and Ghouls. Shout out to you in the comments that realized that when I was saying Boils and Ghouls, I was in fact referencing Tales from the Crypt. I am a massive horror fan. Huge horror fan. Tales from the Crypt, anything like that. Absolutely love it. I love, you know, sort of the triple E Hollywood horror movies. I like the, the foreign, I like the, the foreign, Korean, Japanese horror movies, uh, pretty much anything. Horror B movies, absolutely love it all. I'm a horror nerd. Got horror Funko Pops over there, got horror NECA figures on display in the living room, which some of you have seen some of in um, my community post where I had Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, and Leatherface destroying Elf on a Shelf, you little bastard. So I have been asked numerous times to either debunk or react to Twin Paranormal, and this video is going to be a mixture of them both. This video is an hour and two minutes long. My video is not going to be that long. We're going to look at some highlights and see if we can see any bullshit and uh, just check the channel out and give a general feel um a lot of people are saying these are more in line with mind seed as opposed to the Ouija brothers interesting to note this video is called terrifying devil's tree now i've seen a team at the terrifying devil's tree it was mind seed and it wasn't that long ago so maybe that's why they've gone there i don't know so i've looked through the description and they give a place about satanic roots and all this about this this place so what i'm looking for is for entertainment purposes only it's not there don't think it's going to be in the beginning of the video because in the about section and it says the following twin paranormal face anything scary from demons to skinwalkers and go to the most haunted and abandoned places bringing you along for the ride places like the washo club the demon house astoria underground shanghai tunnels the clown hotel and more all places visited by the likes of Ghost Adventures and Mind Seed. All evidence of paranormal activity we capture on camera of demons, skinwalkers, ghosts during our ghost hunts and paranormal investigations is real and some of the scariest videos on YouTube. The locations we go to overnight are always creepy and we can't wait to share them with you. So they're claiming everything is real. Now, we are going to do a kind of reaction but more of a debunking if there's bullshit here. Now, they, they seem to have... All of the videos are way too long for me to do a reaction to. But because you've asked for it, and Jolene, if I do spot fakery, I'm sorry. I know you told me you didn't want me to debunk them because you love them, but if they're faking shit, this guy kind of has to call bullshit. I'm going to assume this is going to be very Mind Seed-ish. No doubt in my mind. Damn it. That Gerard Schaefer is one of America's worst Martin County cop found in Schaefer's house the personal belongings of many missing young women whose bodies were never found. He's suspected of killing more than 30 women. Skeletal remains dating back a decade. And officials believe her death has a serial killer connection. It was the absolute worst crime. And I'm going to be here and I'll be the best, just like they said. Now, that is a real case and all of it was real. He is a, a disgusting he is a disgusting, horrible person. One of the worst. You know, he's up there with the bigger names. Who's she? I thought Twin Paranormals were blokes. Anyhow, this may be a bit loud. Oh, shit! You heard that? Look, 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 look. They just said one now. The body was found bound, and during that time in the 70s, Florida had its first serial killer. Police say it was Gerard Schaefer. That's a full call. That's a full touch. Cult. I've reacted to these before in Anouk's top five. They got a lot of ink. Like, I am quite heavily tattooed from my stomach, all up my chest, my neck, my back's covered. And somebody did say, don't take the piss out of these guys because they're nice. Uh, I'm assuming you thought that I would take the piss out of them because they have facial tattoos. Facial tattoos... Even though I wouldn't have a facial tattoo, don't bother me. I would love to get my hands tattooed. I've always worked in an industry until very recently where I couldn't tattoo my hands on my face. Well, I could, but it's kind of frowned upon. Uh, at some point, I probably will get my hands tattooed. Um, I, I wouldn't tattoo my face, but I have a lot of friends with facial tattoos. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't insult me. Some of them have got some really nice art on their faces and their heads. However, one of these guys does look like he's fallen asleep at a house party and somebody's drawn on him with a sharpie. Big block lettering. I mean, at the same point, I'm feeling kind of left out. What? 
I just wanted to fit in. <laughs> I hope nobody knocks the door, because if I have to get a pass all of this on my face, I'm going to look like a right tit. Whoa, s They are very excitable. Okay, guys, welcome to the Devil's Tree. Whoa! That is so loud, especially since we are in the middle of the woods. Here behind me is the famous Devil's Tree. Guys, who's ready I'm for not... this investigation? I already had ants going up my pants. My hair looks like shit because of the humidity. Wait, and... Panda! We're gone. Last time you guys saw Panda was at the River Inn. Yep. Why do I think it's a bit horrible with this? I'm not. I'm just having a laugh. A little bit of fun. In fact, in the thumbnail, I'll put in an image of when I dyed my hair half blue, half red. I used to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had eight piercings in my face. My ears were stretched to like 24 mils. So I'm having fun. I'm not taking the piss in a, in a nasty way before anyone says, oh, look at you bullying. I'm not bullying. I'm having a laugh. In the basement. Mm -hmm. So this is her second investigation and we decided to bring her to the devil's tree. The only location. That was footage from a newscast. Now you would want to bring someone. Yay. With that being said, I think before we jump into the invest- I mean, look how much ink he's got. Investigation. Let's learn some shit. A serial killer. A person who commits a series of murders, often with no apparent motive and typically following a characteristic, predictable behavior pattern. Tonight we are heading to Port St. Lucie, Florida, to a place called the Devil's Tree, where a bunch of horrifying events had taken place. Let's just get into the investigation. Um, they haven't quite got the production value. Wait, what was that? Happened there. Strange things have started to happen in that area. Satanist groups would come and use the tree often for their rituals and practices, and some supposedly had even tried to summon Schaefer himself. Apparently, they think they were successful. Since then, there have been countless reports of this forest being haunted. Strange. Those people are called fucking idiots. Not only are they idiots, but they are disrespectful. People were murdered there, and other grisly events that I have um, skipped. Why would you summon something that horrible? Get a job, get a hobby, something, you know, less distasteful. Strange sightings and sounds in the park are super common, and people like to think that it's the victims and possibly Schaefer himself. Our goal tonight is to set out to find the Devil's Tree where all of these events had taken place, and see if we could come in contact with any of the victims or Schaefer himself. But it's easy to find, just watch Mind Seas video, they went there, right? Guys, we are here at the Devil's Tree, and it's almost super, like, surreal when you see it in person. And the fact that we're actually here after driving just about five hours, it's pretty intense. You almost get the same- I drove five hours to my haunted hotel. No biggie. Same feeling as the Devil's Chair when we arrived there. Oh, worse, I feel. Let's go ahead and explain what had happened here to Panda so she gets an idea on some of the history about why we even wanted to come here. They say that when you bring Don't st a woman here, things start to ramp up pretty heavy. I hate you. Oh, shit. I hate you. I hate you. That is crazy, bro. I didn't know that. Yeah, his name was Gerard John. Schaefer. Well, I think we should jump into this investigation. This is about to get crazy. I mean, they're very excitable, and I get that, but they're the sight of multiple killings. I, I, don't, I don't think I agree with the tone, the, the jovial, eh, uh, not for me. We are calling to Gerard or any of the victims who are here. We just want to have a conversation with whoever is still here. Your spirit, maybe just a piece of you, is still here. We're looking to get some Oh, like a piece of a, a piece of a person. Hmm. Some answers. Maybe you could tell us your story. Wait. I've just remembered. There was a thing in the mind seed video where they were talking to a piece of people and then they found hay stuck to the tree. Clearly all staged. Don't be those guys. But before we do ask a bunch of questions. I'd like to introduce all four of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. My name is Panda. And my name is River. Now, well, I'm we were wondering why we're here at such a late time in the night. It's because we just want to have a conversation. So Gerard, or any of the women that were unfortunately murdered here, can somebody please give us a sign? Is that you? 
That was not me. Running. In a forest. <laughs> Where a known serial killer has been. Now, that could be people, that could be animals. That was definitely running. Just saying. Can you do it again? If there is somebody who can hear us, maybe make a noise, snap a branch, whatever you can do. Please. I guess she just debunked it herself by saying they were joggers. I've got these devices here that'll give you the ability to show us that you're here and for you to speak to us. Allegedly. I don't know what stock I put in a lot of the equipment. They've got their own um, spirit box app. The first device I'd like to show you, the one that Panda is holding in her hand right now, if you get close to that device, it'll start to light up all kinds of different colors. The higher the colors go, if it goes to red, that means you've got a lot of energy or you are very close. These are young, right? So if you'd like to, hold on to that device and show us that you are here at any point in time, please. We're not going to be spending a whole lot of time in here because it is dangerous. Alligators. Really. That had to have been like some animal. EMF? I just saw the EMF go. I just saw the EMF meter. It's going. He did. And in the previous shot of that hand, that watch was not lit up and the EMF wasn't going off. If one of them has a phone and they are sending a message to her through that app, then that will trigger the EMF. Uh. Or if you're searching for signal. Not As your watch is lit up. Huh. Is somebody here with us? Gerard? What the f Right, the watch wasn't lit up, that wasn't moving. She does that with a hand, the watch lights up, that starts flashing. I have another device here in my hand that you can use your words. So don't be afraid to use your words, please. Okay. I just heard somebody's voice. I swear on everything. You were pointing that way. It's going off. Oh. I heard nothing. Why wouldn't you replay an apparent voice? So I didn't hear anything. And um, this headset's pretty decent. I can hear a, a gnat fart and didn't hear what he said he heard. And they've not gone back to review it or replay it with the audio enhanced yet. What I like to do is put this in airplane to... mode so that there is no interference when we do use the app. They've got smartwatches, and the phones have not yet been placed in airplane mode, and they are saying that that EMF is evidence of paranormal activity. It's not. It's evidence of your phone searching for signal, of text messages coming through, whatever. I've got an EMF recorder. I've never got it to trigger when my phone is in airplane mode. But if your phone's not in airplane mode, you can trigger it a billion different ways just by unlocking your screen. And I have a smartwatch, and if you do that with it to activate it, your EMF will trigger. It won't go to a five-star red. It'll just glitch a little. Exactly what was happening with her. Maybe they haven't done it on purpose. Maybe. And I'm going to go ahead and start it. I would assume for people that do this what appears to be on a weekly basis at the very least they would be aware that the uh, equipment is going to set off that uh, EMF recorder I'm going to go ahead and set this device here I right it up ground, and it's still going right in off in the middle of the trail please walk up to that give us any words you'd like any sentence if you want to get your words out if you want to speak to somebody or if it's Gerard Maybe you can explain why you did it. Why is she hiding the watch now? Why you committed all of those murders. Choice. No choice. way. It was his choice. Whoa. Bro. Dude, it is like weirdly hot out here and I have the chills, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So is this Gerard then? 
Are there any women still here? Give us a sign, please. Let us know who is talking to us. Device. Well, yeah, the device on her wrist that lit up as the MF. I hope they haven't done that on purpose. Which one? Somebody's walking. You're in a forest! Somebody's watching us. Is somebody watching us? We can feel your presence. We can hear you. Running in circles each point. Either that or it's multiple women, multiple victims that are just kind of surrounding this area. Is somebody watching? I thought I saw something, I didn't. Right, what I will say is they have taken a lot of time to edit this. I mean, me and Dean go out with three cameras and we alternate cameras. Sometimes we have two running at the same time and it is a ball league to edit. So fair play, they're editing while not on the scale of mind seed. We've probably got about 30 people working for them and they've probably done something, you know, in university or college, what have you. These guys are doing a good enough job, but I'm convinced that that EMF is staged. Us? We can feel your presence. We can hear you. running in circles each point. Either that or it's multiple women, multiple victims that are just kind of surrounding this area. Stop finding this a very poor taste. Anyone. Yeah. Anyone? Could be anyone. Did you just <laughs> sound like somebody was like, help! Whoa, it did, huh? If there's a victim here, That's a car. one of the women, maybe you could give us one of your names. Please. Well, I didn't hear the help, and they haven't gone back and amplified the audio so we can hear what they say they're hearing, because it's not there. Uh, this will be the first and last Twin Paranormal, I think. As a reaction, I think there'll be many more debunking videos for these guys, because so far, I'm honestly not enjoying it. I truly think they're triggering the EMF. They're saying they're hearing things that I can't hear with a pretty good headset on and the volume maxed out. Hmm. Don't be afraid of us. We're not here to hurt you in any way. Maybe we can get you out of here if you feel like you're stuck. That would be a great goal for us. You don't need to stay here. Jesus, dude. This freaking forest is alive. Insist. 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 This forest is alive. You don't say. <laughs> Fucking animals everywhere, you know? You, you can hear the crickets, and where there's crickets, there's birds, and where there's birds, there's... Tigers or bears? Maybe. I know they've got alligators. I wouldn't be out there knowing there's alligators there. Eh? Fuck that. Insist that they stay? This has got to be Gerard. Why won't it be? If it is, maybe you can give us a sign. Well, I am assuming the app that they're using for the voice... The voice app is the one they've created. Lenny and Ben have used it, that's how I know about it. And I hold... I don't hold much stock in any of the apps, but the fact that they've created it means they can program it. The forest. Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa, no way. Dude, this is exactly like what it said when we were at the graveyard. Yes! It told us we were at the graveyard. It said cemetery. That's insane! Dude. Uh... That's because it's your app and you programmed it. Yes, we are here in the forest. You're right. Or are you saying that's where you are? That's where you're watching us from. If it is, we hear you. Right before My it eyes said twitching. Insist, I brought up that the forest is like alive. You know, because we keep hearing all these crazy things around us. Maybe this is like his domain, his area. Is this your area, Gerard? You know it is, that's why you're there. Watch out. Dude. Oh. Hey, that might have been one of the women. 
If that was one of the women trying to let us know that you're warning us because Gerard is here, you say something or make this EMF meter go off. If you can make it go just higher. Dude. What the hell? Are you telling me to watch out? Would you like to try a couple of other devices that we have? That'll show us that you're here. I know we're asking you a lot, but it's the only way we know that you are here so that we're not just talking to air. Why was he doing hand signals? <laughs> and then talking in a very loud voice to call out. We can't physically see. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Where's her watch gone? Why would you take it off? When you're trying to get EMF recordings, you've got your watch on. Now you're calling out and not really saying anything about this. Your watch is gone. See you unless if you let us see you. So for now, we brought devices that are sensitive enough so that you can show yourself. I'm gonna bring out the REM pod. Emotional. Emotional. The watch is gone. You. <laughs> and look, because no you EMF are, it spikes. Seems like you're going through like quite a bit of emotions right now. <laughs> yeah, Fear. I could cry. <laughs> you're gonna? I could. <laughs> yeah. Careful, like if you need us to like chill out, we can. It's fine. That came from the tree. Oh, that's really weird. Now, I have a REM pod device. And it behaves the same as an EMF, really. But that aerial, you have to get very close to it in order for it to activate. I mean, within millimeters of it. But there's a big fucking tree there. There is nothing to say that there is something behind that tree being used to trigger that. Like, for example, a two-way radio. Because two-way radios interfere with those and EMF recorders. They could just have somebody behind that tree clicking a radio on and off. I think we should bust out the record. No, that's my opinion. That's not fact. But on account that her watch has suddenly disappeared, though she's not really focusing on the EMF, I would assume everything else is bullshit. Once I see a lie, once I see some fakery, some bullshit, the rest is fakery and bullshit in my eyes. Now I can't take anything seriously, and I'm in full debunk and full skeptic mode. Order ...to see if we can capture any EVPs, because that might make it a little bit easier. And it also can show us, like, the tone of voice, because we have gotten a woman-like voice coming through the recorder before. What do you think? I think that's a good, good idea. idea. Yeah, let's try to get some voices. Maybe we could put it right up against the tree. Okay, let's do a couple of EVPs. I've got another device here in my hand. This should give you the ability to communicate. No watch, no EMF. With your voice a bit easier. What I'm going to do is go ahead and set it down on one of the tree stumps. I'm going to ask a couple of questions. And if you can, speak loud and clear, as clear as you can, through this device, after we ask the question. How did you not hear that? EMF's still not going off. What? No watch. I wonder why. We all see a whole tree fall down. Right, Shush. Okay. Shush. Shush. They just shut us up. Bro, that's what he would have said to one of the women. Literally, while He's they're- like, be quiet. Holy that's shit. It. That said, sash. Not shush. Sush. It's not even a word. What the f... What am I watching? I really regret tattooing my face now to be more like them. Because that was dog shit. It was an hour and two minutes for that video. And I got 36 minutes in. And I skipped a lot. <sighs> that was in line with what mine seed do. It is a complete fabrication. I tried to give them the benefit of the doubt and I was like, maybe they haven't realized the watch is setting it off. And then I started noticing the other guy was wearing a watch as well. And they, they kind of make sure for the most part that one of them is off camera. 
I mean, there's three in shot there. There's a fourth behind this camera. You can have his phone out and text in. There's nothing to say there's not a fifth person there because normally there's another guy with them. I don't know where he is. Because when I did the Nukes Top 5, there was another guy with them. Really tall, skinny guy. And he's not on camera at any point. Maybe he's not doing it anymore. I don't know. But I couldn't finish the video. They were so over animated and overexcited of the EMF. And it didn't go off once after she took that watch off. Why would you take what is probably a very expensive smartwatch in the middle of a forest there is no reason to go oh, i'll just take this off and put it in my pocket or there's no reason for it to have taken that watch off or no reasonable reason to have taken it off a reasonable reason for her to have put that watch on would be to get text messages etc but in this instance to trigger that emf the fact she took it off and it didn't go off after it just stinks um they seem like nice kids. They do seem like nice kids. What I dislike is telling me in your description that your video is 100% real, that you are chasing down demons, ghosts, and goblins, and ghouls, and skinwalkers, and blah, 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 blah. And all I have seen is you manipulating evidence. So your channel is fake. Your claims of it being real are bullshit. And we've come to that conclusion within 36 minutes. I won't do another reaction video to Twin Paranormal. I may do some debunkings of sections of the videos in the future. But that that got annoying real quick. To be that over animated and over like fucking... Oh, I said the thing that's speaking is an app that you have developed and made and you sell. The fact that it said... I mean, we saw it in the... The sort of intro it says his name which is ben was it ben i can't remember it says his name well of course it's going to say his name he's programmed the app it's as simple as that they're triggering the rem pod with smart devices they're triggering the emf and they're expecting us to believe that is 100 percent real evidence and i can't that was utter a bullshit Leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. I am hoping that this comes off or I'm going to look pretty stupid for the next day or two. I have been Beardo. That was a load of shit. And I am. What is that about? <laughs> and I am out. <laughs>